since it's very nearly summertime, viewers, I've decided to make things really, really cold. I'm just weird like that. Tell you what, try an experiment. Take a big deep breath. Understand, oh wait, let the breath out. Understand that the air you're breathing is mostly made up of one particular gas, nitrogen. You don't really notice nitrogen gas, it's invisible. But it's a little more noticeable when it turns into a liquid. I'll pour out some liquid nitrogen here. Just like water, it's clear, colorless, odorless as well. You can't see it, or pardon me, you can't smell it, I'm told, taste it, or anything like that. Liquid nitrogen has a number of fairly unusual properties. Now, one classic way to demonstrate these is to say, test it out on a flower. I decided that was a little too easy, so I've moved up to the produce section, and I'm going to try an onion. All right, get in there. Woo. This is a big onion, so let me add a little extra liquid nitrogen, and we'll give our future Outback appetizer a little time to chill out. As you may be able to hear, the liquid nitrogen sounds like boiling. And in fact, it is boiling. But here's the weird part. It's not hot. In fact, it is super duper cold. Liquid nitrogen checks in at about 320 degrees below zero. That's fair if you want to get technical. That means that the room temperature air here in our WHC studio is about 400 degrees hotter than liquid nitrogen's boiling point. So, Pouring this liquid nitrogen out is kind of like dropping some water on a 600 degree skillet. It makes it boil super fast. It's turning back into nitrogen gas. Now, the white stuff you can see here coming off is not the nitrogen gas. As I said, nitrogen is invisible. The part that we can see is fog. There are tiny bits of water vapor in the air, also an invisible gas. But when they get really cold, as liquid nitrogen certainly makes them, they condense back into tiny drops of liquid, like a fog or a cloud. This is different from smoke or steam, which would be hot and which would go up instead of being cold and falling down. The liquid nitrogen, being so cold, can also freeze water too sweet. And just like people, plants are largely made out of water, including this here onion. See how the onion's doing. Let's give it just a second more to chill out there. Hopefully that's enough time at negative 320. Let me pour a little more in just in case. Now with some of my previous experiments, I know you're going to find this hard to believe, Mr. Science has been accused of making a really tremendous mess. So to keep from spreading stinky onion parts all over the WHC studios, I'm going to put this flash frozen onion into a bag. And I'm not assuming, of course, I can lift it out. Now the moment of truth to see if I've frozen it enough. Sounds kind of like broken glass particles. It's not. It's still just an onion, just frozen. Give me a second, and I'll pour some of it out here. Let's take a look at what we've got. All right, this is the part that really might get messy for the studio. Hopefully not too messy, though. Ah, uh, yes. Here's a nice little layer of onion that's come off. It still sounds a little like glass in parts. But as it warms up, it'll just go back to being soft, squishy, and tear-inducing onion. So I'll put that back in the bag for now. We'll clean you up later.